So now that we've talked about subdivision history and how you can kind of utilize that and kind of add resolution to your low-res geometry and kind of how uh, low-res polygons can kind of be manipulated and then the difference between manipulating those and high-res polygons and then both of them with subdivision history, it's all good stuff to know. Uh, but what we're going to get into now is DynaMesh. So, and this is going to really kind of free us up and kind of let us kind of just sculpt like this is clay. And speaking of, we're actually going to get into the clay brush. So we've got standard brush under our belt, we've got move brush under our belt, and now we're going to add clay brush. And with those three, with DynaMesh, you'll be able to make 99% of the things that I make. Uh, so let's go ahead and get this ugly thing off our screen. I'm going to go to Preferences, Initialize ZBrush. And let's go ahead and start with, uh, you know what, let's, let's, do, uh, let's talk a little bit more about primitives and initialize just while we're here because I don't think I'm going to really touch on it for a long time so while we're here <laughs> talking about it uh, let's go ahead and choose like this gear 3d the crazy one so if you go over here to gear 3d and we I think we can talk about this because we've discussed how to operate in menus and stuff so you've got this gear 3d it's a initialized primitive and because it's a primitive you actually have all of these options so you've got your coverage option you've got uh, width if you want to make it a little bit wider and I would just go in here and just kind of play with these settings. Now you've got outer profile. Now this is a curve menu. So let's talk a little bit about the basics of the curve menu. And we'll get into more of this in some of the other areas of ZBrush that use these uh, quite a bit. Um, if you click the, any of these um, orange dots, you can actually click and move them. So I'm kind of moving this. And what that's doing is changing the profile of the object. So you're going to see if I drag this left one down, it's going to drag it into the object. Halfway, it's going to be perfect, and then as I drag up, it's going to move it out. Uh, if I drag this top one in, it's going to move that profile in. It's going to move it out. And if I make it even, it's going to make it, well, this one's a little bit not even. There we go. So that'll kind of even them out. If I click in the middle here, it's going to do some more crazy stuff. So the gear is really one of those things you can go in here and kind of play with, and it's actually a lot of fun. Um, if you if you want to get rid of this middle one, that you've you know, all you need to do to create those is just tap in the... Uh, on the line there and it'll just create a new one. If you want to get rid of those, you can tap and drag off. Tap, drag off, tap, drag off. Or if you want to, you can go over here to reset and that'll reset the line. Actually, I think it reset it inverted <laughs> from what it was uh, by default, but we'll go ahead and change it back. So drag this one up, drag this one down. You can click to add a line. Uh, if you added a line and you want to move it, you can click and move it. If You, ha you also have this fall off thing, so if you click this yellow um, circle on it you can change the fall off so it's actually a little bit sharper or a little bit broader so you can see you can change it to um, a really sharp transition or a really broad transition depending on this as well as you can get rid of it as well as if you click on here and it's you know it's pr a pretty broad soft transition if you want it to be really sharp click drag off and then back on and that'll change it to a point that is super sharp so it goes here it's like a linear linear is opposed to uh, a bezier curve or something like that so you can go in here and add a sharp one, go in here, click, drag it off, drag it back on, that'll be sharp as well. So you can kind of go in here and make some really interesting changes to this object here. Uh, as well as if you want to close this curve menu, you want to see it anymore, you're going to see your got closed down here. We can close that up. Here's the outer section. So that was the outer profile. The outer section you can also change as well. Then you've got the inner area there, inner circle, number of notches, the inner profile, how that's going to look, I mean just tons of stuff, and actually I probably shouldn't have chosen this object, there's just way too much stuff going on here. Let's choose a simpler one. Let's go to terrain. So with terrain selected, turn on polyframe here, you're going to see that you've got a vertical profile and a horizontal profile. So if you go and change these, you can kind of make some really quick, oops, not focal shift, you can make some really quick changes in your profiles here. change this. I'm just, and again, I'm just uh, clicking and adding buttons here to kind of change these a bit. I'm going to click and add some more buttons here you can play with. So you can very quickly just change the profile of these. Another easy one is the helix. So if I grab a helix here and go down here to initialize, uh, you're going to see that the coverage is going to be either a lot or very little. Uh, you can change the profile, so it's going to have and kind of play with these and kind of get the type of tube that you want. I'm just going to go ahead and hit uh, reset and just drag that straight up again. And go ahead and close that down. 
thickness. So right now it's a very uniform thickness. If I change this left side, it's going to start really thick at the top and then go down really thin at the bottom, or vice versa. I can make it really thin at the bottom, or really thick at the bottom, really thin at the top. So by changing these, you have the starting and ending uh, thickness. If you want them both to be the same, you can just you know drag those to the middle and kind of square them off there. Uh, let's go ahead and close that. The radius is also controlled by... Uh, so if you want it to bulge out in the middle, you can change that profile. If you want it to kind of suck in in the middle, or if you want to make it straight across, just go ahead and drag that off and just make it straight. So now they're all nice and uniform. And I'll change our coverage to kind of lessen those out. Go back to our thickness, and I'm going to drag our thickness down just a little bit. So between those options, you can see you can kind of play a lot with these. What else? We got uh, S divides and L divides. So length and horizontal kind of device here. So you can kind of change that resolution. Now if you want to start sculpting on this object, it's still a primitive, so of course you want to go over here to make poly mesh 3D. That'll give it a poly group, which changes the color, and then when you have your polyframe on, you can see that color. And then you can go in here with your standard brush or whatever and start sculpting on it.